government is wrong to penalize diesel drivers. I agree with much of this, but still suspect as diesels age they get much worse. I can only assume that Euro 6 diesels will be no different. I believe, as far as cars are concerned, that the issue is to do with our new car market, where half of cars are co-cars, and largely chosen for the initial tax benefits. They will be what most of the public end up driving in three years' time, and even if they were appropriate and clean when new, three years later with 60,000 plus miles on them they fall into the hands of Mr. and Mrs. Average who have them serviced on the cheap, just as the anti-pollution equipment is getting to the end of its useful life. Change the habits of the new car's buyers, and tomorrow's second-hand choices will be better for all of us. Penalizing those who had little choice but to buy a diesel is just a great way to upset the electorate. Real-world Euro 6 emissions currently highly debatable as official numbers are bogus. Other staff at Autocar know this, even if Mr. C refuses to acknowledge. Pleading an attack on other sources of pollution is simple evasion. Stay on topic. The truth is that part of the problem lies with people who simply must have a two-ton diesel SUV to navigate around suburbia. Other sources will be targeted as and when alternative technology becomes available. And yes it's killing people. Come to Birmingham and smell the air. What you need to realize is this has nothing to do with pollution, it's to do with the another kind of pollution every time the gov opens its mouth, it's called BS. This is just like back in the 90s when diesel was considerably cheaper than petrol because until TDI tech no one used it much. Once we started buying diesels the gov spiked the price to where it is now about 2p slash l more. The excuse at the time was diesel was more polluting. And sounds familiar. Then along comes labor saying diesel good petrol bad and here is a tax break for the rich that at the time could afford new diesels like an Audi A5 20 pounds. For the rest you can continue paying £135 a year for your old diesel. One of the biggest jokes is we dance to the EU CO2 test results when setting FT. Guess what VW, Audi and others have been fiddling those tests also. Take the same engine in a seat or Skoda and it pays £150 compared to the Audi's £30. And smells fishy. I think it's about time we started proper on vehicle testing of new and old vehicles to set the VD rate correctly. So this year I decided to buy my first brand new car or thought and better go petrol as DPF on short journeys don't work. Bought 1.03 cylinder car that according to the EU does 51 urban, I get 32, but hey ho at least the VD is cheaper. No it's actually £5 a year more than my old 1.9 TDI that would do 10 to 20 miles per gallon more than this thing. Where's the incentive to change from a 2008 to 2017 diesel paying £30? V Trouble is it usually affects the poorer drivers who have bought the older cars that they target, and strange that. All Spredge T Phil has done today is pass the buck. It will be down to your local, caring authority that'll be doing his dirty work. SP said. The levy, tax, on diesels will fund a new £220 million clean air fund, will be poured into the Treasury's general pot, I've just given it a fancy name to make it look good and plucked that figure out of the air because I have no actual way of knowing what it'll be at this stage, to support, pay for part of, the implementation of local air quality plans. The huge costs involved in purchasing, installing and administering vast numbers of pre-Euro 4 catching ANPR cameras which will be positioned at the entrance and exit of any town or city whose local authority needs to generate a bit of extra revenue and have been looking for a ready-made excuse to do it for bloody ages.